Welcome to this video about the receiver operating characteristic curve. A receiver operating characteristic curve, or an ROC curve, is a graphic illustration that shows how the sensitivity and specificity change for a range of different cutoff values for a certain diagnostic test. For example, if we would use a cutoff value that corresponds to the following point, we would obtain a specificity of about 57% and a sensitivity of about 86%. In contrast, if we would use a cutoff value that corresponds to the following point, we would get a specificity of 100% and a sensitivity of about 71%. The x-axis of an ROC curve may be denoted differently depending on which software you use. Note that the scale of the x-axis of our previous plot goes from 1 to 0, whereas the x-axis in this plot goes from 0 to 1, where the x-label is instead defined as 1 minus the specificity. For example, this point on the curve results in a specificity of 57%. This point also corresponds to 57% specificity because the value, according to the x-axis, is 0 0.43. 1 minus 0 0.43 is 0 0.57. Both plots therefore show that the point on the ROC curve results in a specificity of 57%. We will now have a look at how an ROC curve is generated based on the following data, where one has measured the prostate-specific antigen concentration in 14 individuals. To determine the sensitivity and specificity of a PSA test, one has measured the PSA concentration in blood from 7 patients with prostate cancer and 7 healthy controls, which do not have prostate cancer. Remember the definition of sensitivity and specificity from our previous lecture. Sensitivity tells how often a test turns positive for people who have the disease whereas the specificity tells how often a test turns negative for people who don't have disease. Suppose we would set a very low cutoff value, for example 0 0.5 micrograms per liter, and then use this cutoff value to predict if someone has prostate cancer or not. A person who is above this line, which means that the person has a PSA concentration greater than 0 0.5, will be predicted to have prostate cancer whereas a person below this cutoff value will be predicted not to have prostate cancer and is denoted as being healthy in this example. Since the cutoff value is so low, all the 14 individuals will be classified as having prostate cancer. Since all the individuals who have prostate cancer are correctly predicted to have cancer, the sensitivity is 100%. The problem with such a low cutoff value is that all the healthy persons will also be predicted to have prostate cancer, which gives a specificity of 0%. Let's create a plot where we'll draw our ROC curve. We'll place the sensitivity on the y-axis and the specificity on the x-axis. We now add a point that represents the sensitivity and specificity for the cutoff value of 0.5. This point shows that we have 0% specificity, but 100% sensitivity. If we increase the cutoff value from 0.5 to 0.8, one out of the seven healthy individuals will now be correctly classified as being healthy, which increases the specificity from 0% to about 14%, because 1 over 7 is about 0.14. Note that the sensitivity is still 100% because all the patients with prostate cancer are still above the line. A cutoff of 0.8 therefore results in the following point, which tells us that the sensitivity is still 100% and that the specificity has now increased to about 14%. We now increase the cutoff value from 0.8 to 1 which increases the specificity to about 29% because two out of the seven healthy controls are now correctly predicted to be healthy. This gives us a third data point on the ROC curve, which represents that a cutoff value of 1 
results in a specificity of 29% and a sensitivity of 100%. If you increase the cutoff value to 1.2, 3 out of 7 or 43% healthy individuals are now correctly predicted to be healthy, which increases the specificity to 43%. Then we increase the cutoff value to 1.4 and note that the specificity has increased to 57%. When we increase the cutoff value to 1.6, the specificity is still the same because 4 out of 7 healthy individuals are still below the line. However, one individual in the group with prostate cancer is now incorrectly predicted to be healthy. The sensitivity is therefore reduced from 100% to 86%. A cutoff value of 1.6 Therefore gives a sensitivity of 86% and a specificity of 57%. We now continue to increase the cutoff value to 1.9, which increases the specificity from 57% to 71%. Then we increase the cutoff value to 2.05, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, 
The closer the area under the curve is to 1, the better the test performs. Let's calculate the area under our previous ROC curve. We can first calculate the area of this blue rectangle which has a height of 1 and a width of 0.57. The area of this rectangle is therefore 0.57. Next, we calculate the area of this rectangle which has a height of 0.86 and a width of 0.86 minus 0.57 which is 0.29. The area of this rectangle is therefore 0.25. Next, we calculate the area of the last rectangle with a height of 0.71 and a width of about 0.14. The area of this rectangle is about 0.1. The area under the ROC curve is simply the sum of these three rectangles, which is 0.92. Once we have calculated the area under the curve, we can check if it is significantly greater than 0.5, which is our reference value. The null hypothesis of such a test is that the area under the curve is equal to 0.5, which means that the diagnostic test is no better than chance. To check if the AUC value is significantly different from 0.5, or significantly greater than 0.5, one can use the non-parametric Wilcoxon-Mann-Whitney test, also called the Mann-Whitney-U test. We'll here just briefly discuss the Wilcoxon-Mann-Whitney test. The first step in this test is to rank the data, as shown in this figure. Since this is the lowest value, this data point gets the rank 1. And since this is the highest value, it gets the rank 14, because we have in total 14 data points. Then we sum the ranks of one of the groups. In this case, we sum the ranks of the group who has prostate cancer. In this example, we define this group as the second group. Next, we calculate the U statistic based on the sum of the ranks of the second group, the group with prostate cancer, and the sample size of the second group, which is 7. Note that the same U statistic can also be calculated as the area under the curve times the two sample sizes. We then calculate the said statistic based on the U statistic and a sample size of 7 of each group. The said statistic is calculated by 2.62. Then we calculate the area in the two tails of the standard normal distribution which gives us a p-value of 0 0.009 for a two-tailed test, or 0 0.0045 for a one-tailed test. Since the p-value is less than the significance level of 0 0.05, we can draw the conclusion that the area under the ROC curve is significantly greater than 0 0.5. We'll now have a look at the range of different values for the area under the ROC curve so that we know how to interpret its value. In this case, we see that the area under the curve is about 0.99, which means that the test is very good in discriminating between the healthy and the disease group. An appropriate cutoff value would almost completely separate the two groups. A clinical test with an area under the curve close to 100% is an excellent test. If the test has an area under the curve that is around 0.95, it is still considered to be a very good test. However, there are a few individuals that are now incorrectly predicted. An area under the curve of around 0.8 indicates that this test can still discriminate quite well between the two groups. However, when the area under the curve is getting lower than 0.7, the test is considered as a relatively weak diagnostic test. The PSA test that is today used to detect prostate cancer has an area under the curve that is around 0.7 or lower. This is why the PSA test is not very reliable. With such a low AUC value, a lot of false positive and false negative results are expected. If the value of the AOC 
is around 0.5, it means that the test is no better than chance and does not provide any useful information. We'll now briefly discuss the importance of validating the performance of a diagnostic test. In our previous example, we found that 2.05 was a good cutoff value because it resulted in a relatively high sensitivity and specificity. However, what would happen if you collected 7 new patients with prostate cancer and 7 new healthy controls? Would you get the exact same sensitivity and specificity with a cutoff value of 2.05? Probably not. For example, let's say that we measured the PSA level of 14 new individuals and got the following observations. We see that we now get 86% sensitivity and 71% specificity. For this dataset, it seems better to use a cutoff value of 2.5 to get a sensitivity and specificity of 86%. To get a fair estimate of the true sensitivity and specificity for a given cutoff value, some sort of validation technique is usually used. This was the end of this lecture about the RC curve. In the next lecture, we'll have a closer look at different validation techniques.